As usual, we are joined by a new entity today. I don't really want to call this a person, so I'm just going to call it Bab Ross. Bab Ross was mostly randomly generated. I decided to pretty her up a bit, and this is what we got. She's actually a lot like Bob Ross if Bob Ross had drank drain cleaner for like 11 years. Also, I figure I'd let you all know the game decided that Bab Ross is a bro, hates children, and is very creative. I mean, I don't know, it sounds pretty legit. Also, every once in a while, I pause on Bab Ross's face and I believe I can see the devil. LSD is over here. She's having a fascinating conversation with Bab. She's like, you know what would be cool? If flies didn't have sex anymore. And Bab is like, it's so weird. The citrus scented Drano doesn't taste like citrus. It's like false advertising. So real quick, y'all wanna, you wanna see something? Bab Ross and LSD have melded into one sloth-like individual. <laughs> this character right here, I want it. What? What in the hell? Oh, we're breaking all kinds of <laughs> now. At this point, the food is just levitating in the air. I love it. Whoa, what's going on? What, what, what happened? What are you dying from? My God. Bab Ross has leprosy. She's going down. She's the very first one. <laughs> the very first one to die from squalor. The freaking toilet is almost urinating on her head. Australia man's like, oh man, I just got done using the toilet. Oh my God, there's a dead body. Smells like ass. That's so unfortunate that the brand new member of the family was the first person to die from the oh my god the freaking levitating death food bowls are growing look at how many of them are just levitating in the air <laughs> what the hell what the jesus is going on over here bab ross what the you just broke down like a kiss <laughs> it's like a dollhouse and she just beat the hell out of it bab i just realized you may have mental issues that I didn't create in this game. Did someone just get eaten? Yep. I can always tell when a sim just got... <laughs> it was Bab Ross. Hey, Bab, have you ever drank another sim's entrails? Get ready. It's quite an experience. Look at how thick it is. You know what to do. Ah, savory and sweet. It may have resulted in the end of another sim, but gosh, does life taste delicious. And you call me sick. Colino, gonna be the next one to go down. <laughs> ah, the flavorful taste of colon. Babs is a bro, but one of your bros just got liquefied. Did you love Claire Danes, Bab? Do you miss her? That's all right. She'll be with you always in the form of a chocolate milkshake. Now go get her. There we go. And that looks scrumptious. Hey, I got a question for you. What did Claire Danes taste like? Like regret. Okay. I was about to spy on Florida man while he was showering, but this is even better. Bab Ross gets eaten by the cow plant and her delicious giblets are turned into a friggin' frappuccino. It's a Bab frappuccino. It's a, it's a Babuccino. Bab, what in the holy hell are you wearing? What is this, your Sherlock Holmes cosplay? Where'd this ring come from? Did you get married in one of your acid-induced stupors? What are you making there, Bab? Banana kebabs? Bab is burning to death. Get them inside or into cooler clothing or face the wrath of the sun. I want to let you know, she did this to herself. Bab is like, I always wanted to know what it would be like to find the killer. You found the killer, Bab. It's me. Hey, Bab, did you finish up those grilled bananas so at least the other Sims can have something to eat before they die? If you die before Colino, I'm going to be really sad. She's heading downstairs. Oh, she's going swimming. Bab is burning to death. Bab is clearly the most flammable person in this entire house. Yeah, Bab, go to sleep. Go to sleep forever. Don't worry. Be happy. In hell. Bab is sleeping in the hot tub in the middle of the heat wave inside of the house with the heat on. Okay. 
Fab, there is no reason for you to smell like rotting sewage when there's a million saunas all over the property. Bab is now burning to death as well, so we got two so far. Come on, Bab, you can do it. I don't want to see you be the first one to kick the bucket. I like how they're all taking turns sleeping for like 10 minutes in the same bed. And who turned this fireplace on too? You guys didn't have enough heat up here? Ah, uh, Bab is gonna go grill a pot of franken beans. And by grill, I mean she's gonna put it on the countertop and watch as it steams. I love how Bab is just sitting here, crying softly in her sleep, smelling like broken promises and human sweat. Plenty of ways to take a shower. Plenty of ways to take a bath. Not what she wants to do though. Bab and Florida Man are now taking bets on how long she'll last through the night. Bab has been incredibly resilient. She has managed to last through all of this. She's been burning to death like three or four times now, but she never really died. What do you know, Bab Ross is burning to death again. So Bab has lethal heat. I can only imagine that the Grim Reaper is probably like, hey, would you mind dying while I'm already here so I don't have to make another trip? There it is. <laughs> I love it. She did wait until the Grim Reaper left. She went all the way to the top of the house too. She's like, maybe if I get closer to the sun, this will be over quicker. What the hell? What is going on over here? Bab, what are you doing? Bab Ross is giving fashion tips. Sure, why not? Who wouldn't want to look like Bab Ross? If you too want to look like you're from 1991, make sure to wear the patented denim shirt with denim pants. And if you can get a giant fro, please do. Embarrassed, awkward comment. Why oh why did Bab say that? Have you seen Bab? That's why. I've really upgraded your lives now, Sims. While you bastards churn out video after video for me on the internet, I have provided to you this lovely outdoor entertainment area where you get to watch comedy shows to help you kill yourselves. Now everyone get the hell over here and watch these channels. Come on, it's what every young kid wants. You get to play games and watch TV all day long. Sit your ass back down there. I like how Bab just leveled up in comedy after looking at Australian man's dead body. She's like, oh, that reminds me of a joke. Really? I, I don't just have the cats playing in the trash. I have the Bab playing in the trash as well. Did that make you happy? I, apparently it did. You know what? Do whatever it takes. Playful. She comes out and she turns playful because of the environment. <laughs> she just had a bro moment hanging with the bros. Apparently death is her bro. Bab is just a sad bastard. Everyone else is so easy to make hysterical, but she is just so damn difficult. Oh! She had turned on the comedy station for a little while and we got our last one. LSD finally gets it. After a lifetime of being on the computer, playing games, watching TV, and taking bubble baths, she finally died. That means our winner and most unhappy bastard that ever was is Bab Ross. Bab, I don't know why, but compared to everyone else, you are just a perpetual depressed bitch. This also means you have like eight derpy cats that you have to take care of. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love. I can only picture this conversation over here. Bab Ross is like, hey Tommy, what do you like doing for fun? And Tommy's like dying. And Bab is like, that's strange, I'm, I'm really good at that myself. This toilet is nuts. Like every time someone uses it, it sounds like they're getting part of their frontal lobe ray gunned out. God, everywhere I go, there's just a thin sheen of urine covering everything. The fact that my Sims have made it into fall for once is nothing short of extraordinary. Everyone's finally getting into the final stages of contagion. And Bab just pissed herself, so she might be next. Florida man followed suit. Then Tommy, they're literally pissing in, in like order. Oh, Bab Ross, next. She was just coming up here to see if something was in her teeth. <laughs> there goes Florida Man. He's like, I don't know, maybe it was just a skunk Bud Light. Nope. Bab, I'm not gonna lie. Thanks for taking the time to clean one single plate. LSD Bab Ross wouldn't want you to miss out on this. They're like, maybe if we swim right next to the fire pit, everything will be all right. Ah, everyone's starting to get the first stage of hypothermia, finally. How the hell is this a relaxing swim also? They're swimming in a freaking blizzard. I guess if you consider everything else I've made these sims do, Bab Ross is like, Gray, this is the most peaceful way you've killed us yet. Bab Ross, 
has nothing to say about this weather. She's like, my fro shall protect me. Okay, Bab is number two right now. She too has begun to freeze to death, although she doesn't look so much like she's freezing. She looks like Colossus with a fro. You know Colossus, the X-Man that could like turn his skin to metal? She can also turn her skin to metal. Her other superpower is looking incredibly depressed all the time. While Bab uses the bathroom, I'm very happy to see that all the rotting food is continuing to pile up outside. My Sims are the only people that can make a glass of water rot. Beth Amphetamine. Next. I think, are they both going at once? Bab Ross went as well. I love that these are the most flammable bastards in the entire universe and they just spend all their time next to the damn campfire. They suck at not burning so much that Bab Ross has burned her arm just sitting here eating hot dogs all day. Honestly, the more pressing matter is that Bab Ross smells like an eight day old can of sardines. I like how you're all deciding to have a conversation out in the sunniest part of the entire house. Watching the evolution of intelligence of my Sims is incredible. These two are now just sitting over here slowly burning in the sun because I took away the one piece of roof that was protecting them. Meanwhile, Tommy is still asleep. He just chose a different chair. Meanwhile, no matter how many tubs I put outside, none of them are interested in them. Australian man is like, I smell like clam chowder that's been sitting out in the sun for four days. Meanwhile, Bab is like, that sounds delicious. <laughs> this right here is the most appropriate scenery of Sims that I can show you. It's a bunch of Sims that are covered in their own waste and filth, sad, depressed, talking about how they want to die. This is actually kind of wild. They're all burning together. I don't know like if they're gonna burn at the same time to death or if one of them's gonna die first. It's more of a question of who's the most flammable. Bab Ross probably has lighter fluid for blood. Australian man is next. And that means that Bab Ross is technically going to be the winner even though she will immediately die. But Bab, on the plus side, for the two seconds that you're alive, that means that you are the winner. And now your winning streak is over. Well, it's just a bunch of moldy, charred bodies surrounding the television. Pretty normal, I'd say. I don't think that Bab Ross has ever won anything. So at the very least, she's the most resistant to getting skin cancer. On the plus side, I'm actually on the ground floor now. Bab Ross is over here. She's like, oh, a staircase just appeared. I wonder what could be going on beneath the surface. Imagine if you will, Bab, a lovely lazy river like you would find in a water park and then make it so that the water park is owned by Satan. It's always a good sign when it takes 10 minutes to save the game. Okay. So the demonic breaststroke has finally started. It is 11.45 a.m. It's taken about two hours for the commands to actually go into the game. Bab Ross is in the lead here only because her avatar has been the only person to figure out what the hell it's supposed to do. Florida man legitimately gave up the will to live and started going the other way. So now Bab Ross is the only one doing what they're supposed to do. I think Bab Ross is still in last place, but don't worry, Bab, we love you. Even if your parents didn't. Okay, all of Bab Ross's cocaine is starting to wear off. Florida man is really starting to catch up now. Okay, this is perfect. I don't actually have to babysit these creatures anymore. The closer they get to this platform, the more they want to, you know, actually eat and stay alive. Okay. Two of my contestants have just spontaneously died. They didn't get death animations. They didn't get death notifications. They just disintegrated completely out of the game. Bab Ross and Tommy Weenus figured out a way to spite me by literally ceasing it to exist. Oh sh Bab Ross is going upstairs. Okay, so Bab Ross and Beth Amphetamine have made it to the second floor. Bab's going somewhere. She was gonna go talk to Australian man, but suddenly she just lost the will to even do anything social. There we go. There's Bab. Where's, where's, to, would you eat him? Is that a puddle of urine sitting underneath my stairs? Looks like a puddle of urine under my stairs. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate that Bab at least got a friggin' death animation. Poor Australian man wasn't good enough for one. Hey, Spleens, since I know you can't make it up to the top floor for your food, there's something 
nutritious right there for you. I like how every once in a while, just like a random urn pops up. Babaross died of starvation. One of our originals. All right, Bab, before you die of mortification, I need you to test this out for me. Oh, it totally works. I like how the bed still has the animation like she's actually underneath the covers. From this perspective, it's not like the bed is very tall. It's like Babs is very big. I'm not gonna lie, her stench cloud uh, with the backlighting of the spotlights kind of looks like the Aurora Borealis. I like how um, Bab Ross has completely given up on anything in the game. She was just staring at the crowd like, man, <laughs> look at how many body bags death is gonna have to bring with him. Obviously right now, we only have the man family and from this meatball shaped gigantic testicle hair fluff thing, you can tell that Bab Ross is indeed back. Florida man is still in it, as is Bab Ross. I don't know how, she's just been chilling in this corner over here forever. Who the hell set something on fire? Bab Ross is here, he is. Well, since you're all alone over there, I guess I'll just let you burn. All right, with Bab burning alive, that means that Florida Man is the only one that's left of the original six. Hopefully this fire doesn't spread all the way to him. Bab Ross, she just got done dancing a jig, and now she slumbers eternally in a puddle of her own refuse. The fun floor is really starting to get quite a few people on it. You better watch out, Bab. Better not have too much fun. The mental traits are already going insane. She didn't even do anything and she already feels like she's going to vomit. This is on the happy floor. And Bab just vomited inside of the toilet, but that made her very happy. That's right. Tell some jokes, Bab. That's the first step toward imminent death. This guy's like, oh, this is the best performance I've- oh. Oh my god! Bab has been telling jokes for like three minutes and this guy died from it! And she's like, god damn it! My only fan! Hey Bab, how does it feel to be personally responsible for the very first death in today's game? And she's like, that feels right. Well, the very first death I would say calls for 20 more sims! Alright, we've got a whole new slew of potential death subjects coming down the stairs. Bab is still giving her performance over here. <laughs> oh no. I'm basically trapping these people in this performance with pet supplies. I just heard the death thing. Yep. I knew it was only a matter of time. The crowd is gonna start passing away. I wonder if everyone will just keep watching the performance after her dead body is just laying here. They turn to go mourn the body, but they can't stop watching this. Look at them, they're like, ah, oh, this is hilarious. I think what's really bad is this dead body is pulling more people over here, which is going to pull more people into the performance. Spleens is like, fuck this, I'm sleeping inside the bathroom. No excuse, someone's gonna die. Yep, there it is. Bab Ross just pissed herself. That's a death sentence. Bab Ross is going down from embarrassment. She finally got a taste of her own medicine. Meanwhile, someone dies of rage. Someone else dies of rage. Bab is over here swiping on thought book. What are you doing, Bab? You, um, trying to go... I was gonna say, are you trying to go three for three? <laughs> Did a bunch of people just teleport over here next to her? Australian man is like, I know this feeling. My fire sense is tingling. Bab Ross. LSD, some random girl chilling out in the hot tub. They pretty much know they have this win in the bag. That is unless someone ends up setting their entire side of the house on fire. That might even things up. You lasted a long time, all the way into the end. But the young Sims are the winners. You can see they're all dancing a jig and Spleens is happy that she finally gets to see the sun again. Florida man, Bab Ross, fire her girl. Good job, everyone. Bab Ross is over here. She's like, I would like a balanced diet with vegetables and fruits, something colorful and wholesome. Fruit Loops have fruit in them, don't they? <laughs> okay, what the hell? This thing was already burning. It, I left it on fire. I left it burned and now it's burning again. <laughs> Y'all better not lose your cooler because that's one of the ways that you have to eat. Bab Ross discovered the fire, um, and by discovered the fire, it means that somehow she managed to burn while she's standing 30 feet away from the flames. Oh God, the vertical gardens are burning now. And Bab Ross is dead. Every great ruiner of their life begins with the first social media profile. If only it was that easy. Bab, you didn't read the terms of service, did you? She's like, nobody reads the goddamn terms of service. <laughs> See this? 
on the road to fame. What you don't know is that fame is closely related to inevitable death. I love how everyone is trudging over to make social media videos. It's not even the end of day one yet and you guys are looking like your souls have been removed from your bodies. Get the hell over there and start recording. <laughs> So Bab came over to record like a vlog or something and it started with her sobbing in front of the camera. What a fantastic cold open. I literally have three people crying into the cameras. Three, all three people are just sobbing uncontrollably as they make social media videos. Bab is over here. She's like, I look like a mixture between Bob Ross and Bruce Lee. What do you want from me? Bab just did a social media update and gained 15 followers. How do you feel about that, Bab? She's like, like, I want to eat the computer screen. What do you want to call this video? Herbalism video. Herbalism, you say. Let me just, let me just change the title of this video real quick. There we go. I like that Bab was trying so hard to keep up and she's at 35. See, now this is actually industrious. This is what I'm talking about. Bab is actually having her little recorder over here record her while she's asleep on the ground. <laughs> the people asked for this and they're gonna get it. It's gonna be a dance battle between a completely filthy Bab Ross and a slightly intoxicated Florida man. Cause he spent his entire night in the full lick bar and he's spending the rest of his night inside of Bab Ross's fro. Look at him. Look at how intently he's staring at her. He's like, I'm about to beat your ass like dirty laundry. Here we go. All right, Florida man, show us why you're the king of Florida. Florida man is touching himself in ways that no one else would ever do. And he managed to keep his towel on during the flip. All right, Bab Ross is impressed, but now she's going to respond in all denim, something that only she can do. Or she may piss herself. It may have actually already happened. Well, Bab Ross wanted to compete, but her bladder wouldn't allow her. Okay, Bab managed to upload the video of Whitley's death. At least someone took advantage of this. A few seconds later. What? Hold on, she literally just uploaded the video and then she died of starvation. Bab gave up her will to live just so that she could get one last video up on TikTok. Now that right there is dedication. Don't get me wrong, these people can't go two weeks without either getting set on fire or spontaneously dying. So trying to pass their survival traits along to the children, I mean, it's not gonna go too well. Bab Ross ended up getting some sweet prison tattoos, as well as having a stroke on the left side of her face. I can see Bab Ross is like, oh wow, you're so gracious. Effectively, Bab Ross's Afro style haircut is the base dimension for the room that they will live in. Okay, what the hell is this? People are starting to levitate. <laughs> Making a one-by-one one house is amazing. Where the hell is she going to? How far is she allowed to walk and completely disregard gravity? I love how she's very slowly shuffling. Look at how much filth is everywhere. Everyone is just covered in their own feces. There's titanic bottles of urine everywhere. Get back into the house. I'm trying to teleport them all back over to the house. We get rid of all these dead death notifications. I've got to clean up all the bodies. Stop dying, I'm trying to move you back over to the house. Fabros, no! They're dying so quickly, it's destroying the frame rate. I don't really know what happened, but Babros is now in the front. Babros walks like Jason Voorhees. You know, it's a good day in The Sims when you're on fast forward, ultra speed, and this, this is fast forward. Okay, I've got good news and I've got bad news. The good news is all of the Sims have made it up to the ground floor at this point. In last place, we have Bab Ross and her incredibly relaxed canter and overpowering fro. Come on guys, this is like the Highlander. There can be only one. And right now, Tim Horton is kicking the shit out of all of you. Bab is currently in second somehow. I, I don't know how, I, if I remember correctly, she was like last a little while ago. Okay, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Bab Ross is now in second. Holy Jesus, she's fast. Where the hell's the rest of my Sims? What, all you guys die? Alrighty. Well guys, remember how I said this is like uh, the Highlander and there can be only one? There can be only one, Bab. There can be only one. <laughs> you too, Ellis. Get off your damn cell phone. You know what time it is. Goodbye, LSD. Goodbye, Australian man. <laughs> you too, Whitley. I think the best part about this is that 
Florida man died on his own. Like, I didn't actually have to kill him for this. He just disappeared out of the entire game. Anyway, folks, I'm going to leave you with this face. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Sims 4. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.